Welcome to Bat Academy. Crime has run rampant in Gotham. I can no longer patrol the streets myself. It's up to you all to pick up the slack. Cool. Lesson one, utility belt. Now. Uh, we don't have those. They weren't included in the tuition fee. Oh. Well, how much did they cost? It, I'm really rich and I just, I have no concept of money stuff. Oh, uh, probably tens of thousands of dollars? I don't. Is that a lot? Is that, uh, yeah, that's like the cost of a car. Just one car? It's like a year of income for most people. We just write it off. If you make nothing all year, tax write-offs don't do anything because you already don't pay income tax. Then what are you complaining about? Now, as for your bat copter. Uh, I don't have a bat copter. Oh. Well, what kind of copter do you have? I don't have any kind of copter. Not even a helicopter? Come on, even the Joker has a helicopter. And the Joker is also rich. Whoa. The Joker is upper middle class. We can't afford helicopters. Okay, they're not necessary. Just take a Batmobile then. You do have cars, right? Ooh. Maybe we could set up like a, like a Bat bus. Huh? Or you could drop me off near the crime and I'll take my fixed gear the rest of the way. Batman doesn't take public transpo. It's for the poor people he protects. I have a Prius. We carpool. Is there a machine gun on that Prius? Oil slick? Smoke bombs? It has amazing MPG. MPG? Is that a weapon? It's a weapon for the environment. So it's not a weapon? No. You should stick a machine gun on there! Or something! And I should move out of my mother's basement. But it ain't gonna happen. Well, if you don't like your mom's basement, just move to a penthouse. Ah. Can you teach us Kung Fu? I mean, Kung Fu is free. Oh yeah, awesome. Class is in session. <laughs> now, who can tell me what he should have blocked? You! Uh, your foot? Precisely. Gold star. You broke my nose. Oh, you're gonna wait your butler for that. None of us have butlers. Uh-huh. So you just magically have clean clothes. What? Do they grow on trees? No, they cost money. So... So I'm gonna have to go to a free clinic, you asshole. Be sitting next to some woman for 14 hours shitting herself, and it'll still cost me thousands. And judging from everyone's faces, that's a lot of money? I'd recommend having a vast family fortune that allows you to practice gymnastics for 17 hours a day as a child. Then you'd be able to dodge my bat attacks. I'm gonna sue you for assault, Batman. What a dick! Right? What the fuck? I'm gonna go rob some hobos and say Batman did it. I'm in. Me too. We can carpool to the hobo murder, right? Okay, but you have to chip in before we split his wallet. Fine. Seriously, man. Cheap ass. Ugh, all the good heroes are already taken. We shall find a hero for the ages. Greetings! Allow me to find you in the litany of names. ABM. Is that Atomic Bomb Man or? Oh, oh, no! God damn it, that's not a superpower! Oh, leave. I discovered my power one horrible night after prom in the 1990s. Leave now. Never fear, there are many superheroes auditioning today. Okay, honestly, can you stop with that stereotypical superhero bullshit? That helps with my depression. Right, right, sorry. Are you in need of assistance? Shazam! Uh, powers? I'm invulnerable, can fly, super strong, laser vision, can shoot lightning, become gigantic, become microscopic, teleport, psychic, and I'm super smart. By thunder! Fucking shit, yeah, by thunder. What's your backstory? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, 
You know how some superheroes fall into toxic waste or gamma radiation and get their powers? Well, my mom smoked and drank while she was pregnant. Uh... Wait, let me find you. Oh, I see now, your name is... Fetal Alco Hero? Yeah, could we maybe change that? Why? It's just a little... offensive. It's not offensive. Usually, pregnant drinking is bad. Sometimes, it's a great idea! That's my catchphrase. How about... By the moons of Mercury? How about I punch you in the neck until you stop crying? Okay. Wonder Cat doesn't cry. Oh, no. That's my other catchphrase. I got it from my mom's 14th boyfriend. Whoa. Do you have any shorter catchphrases? Uh, oh, okay. Imagine you're a villain. I shall. My mom got smashed, and so will you! Uh... Also, my mom was a filthy whore who banged an unending parade of verbally abusive cokeheads. Eat this! The second part's good. Do you have unresolved mommy issues? What I have is unresolved issues with crime! Okay, I don't think that you meet our psychological profile. So, um... He may turn to villainy. Shit. You're not gonna go evil, are you? My views on good and evil are complex. Edible complex. Next. But it's Next. But I Next, please. I liked him. Keep him on the short list. Yeah, he's the best all week. Yeah. My name is Eros. I have the power to find anything erotic. No thanks. Mmm. Rejection. Please leave. Mmm. Politeness. Leave! Mmm. Forcefulness. Here's a picture of a naked mole rat being hit by a lawnmower. Well, now you're just doing it on purpose. Thank you, Mr. President. Citizens, as you know, the Earth is in peril. Alien ships are approaching at near light speed. The leaders of the world have given me the task of finding them, making contact, and if need be, f***ing them to death. Any questions? Yes, Chuck? Um, can't you just, like, kill them? Well, as stated, if it does indeed come to that undesirable situation, I will f*** them to death. Yes, Helen? Couldn't you just use your laser eyes or something? Well, I don't know what you do at home, but I don't f*** with a laser beam. <laughs> well, but, like, why do you have to have sex with them? Can't you just throw them into the sun or something? Well, John, maybe you should fly into space, breathe nothing for hours, and explode some alien ships. I can't. Then why don't you let me do it my way? Now, if you please refer to this battle plan. So the circles are the Earth and Moon and... No. This is the face of an alien being f***ed to death. I trust that clarifies... Well, it's just... Isn't this the same way you defeated Lex Luthor finally? And we're happy he's gone, aren't we? Next question. It's also the way you stopped the banking crisis? Do you miss those guys? I don't miss those guys. Next question. What about the guy that just stole a slice of pizza? It's called a three strikes law. Three strikes and Superman f***s you to death. I don't think that's how... Strike one. Are you threatening a journal? Strike two. In conclusion, I think your headline should read, Superman's actions totally justified once again. I'll take your silence for a yes. Oh, also, I can do this. Hmm. Good press conference. As you know, Batman has long tried to shield me from public conferences. However, now that he has been murdered along with 100,000 Gothamites in last night's terrorist attack, I must, with great sadness, speak to you in his stead. Questions, please. Yes, Al. Are you gay? Wow. How inappropriate. 
Brandon, your hand is raised. Uh, yes, um, was it sad for you when the flamboyant part of town was destroyed? Uh, technically, yes. It is the first detonation of a dirty bomb on American soil. Every life is precious. Candace. You work out a lot and don't really wear leggings. Correct. And you live with a man who- Is this going anywhere? <laughs> You're clearly gay. I'm not. Up to a million people are going to die of radiation poisoning this week. Can we please stay on topic? Also, I have a girlfriend. What's her name? Sandy. Eye color? Blue. Hair color? Blonde. Name? Sally. Sandy. Damn it. Oh, oh you guys are dicks. There's a goddamn war zone of horror not 30 miles from here. Why does a guy's personal life matter? Focus, people. You were seen kissing a man outside Nobu last week? Who told you that? <laughs> it's a yes. No, it's not. Do you have a message to the gay youths who look up to you? Stop looking at me, homos. What's your favorite team in the NFL? That's not... The Mets? Wow. How is this news? Headline, Robin flaming as Gotham burns. No. Headline, Robin has sex with women. Gotham appreciates his leadership. Headline, martial law declared. Robin is queen. Headline, democracy remains intact. Robin casts his vote for hot chicks. I thought you people were better with innuendo. This isn't news. Robin declares homosexuality. Not news. Okay, okay, fine. I'm gay. I'm gay. A hundred thousand people are dead, but Robin f***s nudes. Woohoo! Any questions about it? Eh, it's not really a story once you're out of the closet. Okay, good. Now let's talk about the millions of people who are going to die. Now, the most horrific burn victim. Why is everybody playing with their iPhone? Aquaman just revealed himself as straight. What? Really? Let me see that. One day, while practicing cunnilingus tricks in the mirror, I discovered something strange. Oh my god. Dudes, you want to see the creepiest thing in the universe? Uh, no. No, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> it wasn't merely a technique. It was a power. A gift. I was the man creep. Seriously, don't ever do that again. <laughs> And with great creepiness comes great responsibility. Oh no! We're gonna have fun with you. Scram, turkey neck! Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, for the love of... It's just so creepy. I became a wanderer. <laughs> the people revered me. But soon, I was to meet my equal. Ah, Mr. Ashby. I've been expecting you. You're using the gift for evil. I've improved upon it. I also do this sort of reach around thing by the hand. You're playing God! We're not like the others, Mr. Ashby. The normals. They lack the wherewithal to cup their hand like a vulva and go I... I never thought of it that way. Think of the wealth. The power. The women. Probably no women. I, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, right. No, that makes sense. Played in expectations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Unreasonable. Sorry. I could teach you a technique that would make you so creepy, you could creep away death forever. Uh, uh, no! That is the.
dark side of pretending your hand is a vagina. I'll never join you. So be it. We must do. <laughs> What is it with those two homeless guys? I don't know, they do this all the time. Fear my vagina hands! Now, honey, it's our 10 year anniversary and I wanted to do something special and spice it up and the kids are away at a sleepover and well, I know you've been reading those Fifty Shades of Grey books, so I um... Uh... Oh, Nito, what's 